Hello, I'm Jose Sosaya. Pima County Supervisors want to know how former County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry retired early, started drawing a pension, and never told them about it. A serious bike accident last October sidelined Huckleberry from his work with the county. Months later, county supervisors were poised to accept his resignation when they learned the day before a meeting Huckleberry had already officially retired and was working as a contractor. New Administrator Jan Lesher says Huckleberry did ask some county leaders to keep this move quiet because it dealt with his personal finances. The Pima County Sheriff's Department now has a new Civilian Advisory Review Board. The board will be made up of 11 community members with a twofold goal, working to educate the community about the department's goals and actions and also hold the department itself accountable. State GOP lawmakers in Arizona are considering a continuation budget they say would fund state government at current budget levels plus inflation. Their hope is to end an impasse in the legislature over the state's budget in 2023. The plan would, in theory, put $5.3 billion in the state's treasury. The Marana Unified School District is working to bring in more substitute teachers. They're now offering up to $165 a day for certified subs the rest of the year. Marana District Board members approved this increase as well as adding personal days, medical insurance and other benefits for the certified subs. There is a list with more on the benefits and finding open roles in the district on our story on Kega9.com. A worldwide program called Odyssey of the Mind helps kids learn problem solving skills in a fun and creative way. And Esperero Canyon Middle School is going all in on this competition. Students are on their way to the biggest my Odyssey of the Mind stage in Iowa. That's happening as a competition. Students are hoping to shed more light on environmental issues and other solutions. And time for a check in on the weather. Dry and breezy at times. Temperatures well above average through Thursday. A passing storm system will bring those strong gusty winds Friday, pushing temperatures back down to near or below average to end the week. Then dry and warmer early next week.